Huh. Question. It, does she look different now? I ask that because last episode we may, perhaps, have sort of broken reality a little bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny fracture in the space-time continuum and may have offered her up as a vessel, well, offered multiple of her up as a vessel for some greater entity. Uh, something called The Stranger, I believe, based on the achievements I earned. Did the color change as well? Odd. Uh, but regardless, uh, after that horrible experience, we had a normal question mark run where we attempted to stab the princess instead of, you know, trying to cut her arm off again. Uh, she beat us to death with her bare hands, which, uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, w I'm sorry. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate that. I'm gonna hit the load screen now. You're here to slay Because I hate that so if much. You don't, it will be the end of the world. Ugh. I'm sorry, the way it stared in that other... Is that because I got through that, you know, stranger ending question mark? Except it wasn't an ending because it was way too early. And I assume I have to play through more of these and eventually get back to that point to either kill the stranger or give it a better vessel. But I don't know how... Well, I don't have enough context on that. Uh, but what I was saying before the princess decided to do that um is she beat us to death while we attempted to stab her to death and uh, it was kind of the most badass thing she's done so far so so far best princess was the last one and she's dead now so i mean well here we are we'll see how the game reacts to this because it does seem like the next princess in the loop is based on what you did or what you attempted to do yeah, because we had the, <clears throat> pardon, we had the princess who we attempted to free, who bit her arm off and felt nothing. Well, bit a chunk of her arm off and felt nothing, to be accurate. Um, and then the princess after that was this emotionless doll. Of course, we haven't had like a full loop so far, and I'm kind of... Yeah, there is that little distortion in the music. Curious. I'm also forgetting how I skip. I think it was shift tab or something. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Oh? That's fine. It doesn't matter oh. if he can hear us. The only thing that matters New voice. is marching up to that cabin and winning. Hmm. Damn it, why are some of these voices recently so accurate to who I am? Damn it! That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. This is more than just deja vu. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. Like I said, we've just met for the first time, you and I. I'm sorry, I just want more lines from the stubborn. Just to get a feel for it. Also, you seem more friendly than you were before. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died which probably only happened because you didn't listen to Hey, 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 hey. I did exactly what you asked me to do. I picked up the knife, stabbed the princess, she punched me to death, and now the timeline has reset, which means that the resetting of the timeline seems to be tied to my death? Again, question mark? We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Hey, the mission is kill the princess. It's not kill the princess and survive, okay? We succeeded, and your world still ended. 
And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Yeah, well, last time around maybe didn't have consequences. The time before that, though, might. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Unless that timeline continued onwards. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had hmm. you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Ugh, enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. All right, he's less, you know, I am a stubborn person. I recognize this. Uh, this one seems more victory focused. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. Yeah, let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. We killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't hey! talk to her, don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. All she did last time around was beat me to death. Yeah, all she did last time around was beat me to death with her bare hands. How can someone like that end the world? I mean... She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we actually got a, well, not a good look at ourselves, but a decent look at ourselves. And we appear to be some sort of demon? Monster? A beast, perhaps, which makes me think maybe there's a parallel between this and Beauty and the Beast somewhere, but I can't really see that. This is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? To collect information. It's what I do. There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Thank sure you. Is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. A little bit of that barbarian in him. I get that. Uh, who locked her in that basement? What is this place? Also, what aren't you telling me? But, well, we did have a case where one of these explore options locked us into a path. Or like we couldn't do both, so you're being cagey. Why aren't Told you telling me? Everything you me? What aren't know. you telling me? Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. It's already difficult enough, man. Just give me the info I'm asking for. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. I mean, I kind of like him. He's not me, but I kind of like him. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. And who locked her in that basement? Okay, that just sort of skipped on its own. Oh, wait, do I have this off, like, on or active? No, doesn't matter. But yeah, already seen that. People locked her in that basement. Why couldn't they slay her? I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. <clears throat> Sorry, allergic to bullshit. Prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Well, I guess we are technically special, but the way he phrases it makes me think, mm, yeah, no, you're trying to butter me up. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Yeah, <sighs> and this one's falling for it. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Really? You too? Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Don't patronize me. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. But I could just turn it. No, no. Proceed to the cabin. We want to have some normal runs oh, under our belt either way. Before you go any further, she will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Hmm. Don't believe a word she says. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. The point of my oh. warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It 
Is it this one? Thank you. Oh, just, are you sure about that? Yeah, I have an issue where my mouse keeps double-clicking. I might just need to get a new mouse, but it's kind of annoying in this context. Maybe the enter button instead will work. The princess will there we go. say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? No. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Like the bloodlust, but let's keep going. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its mm. cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Neat. See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. But question. Um... You know, out of curiosity, take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be... And then approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There yep. isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Wipe you it clean. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Mm. I hope you know how ridiculous... There was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it get to fighting yeah also the whole cabin is different well I mean this is probably redundant but maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. Uh, very different yeah so focus up reflexes apologies the door to the basement creaks open revealing a rough stone staircase, hmm. its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Two points. One, this seems more like a beast's lair than an actual basement, which may have implications for what the princess is, Second, are we going to get, like, a demonic princess? Because sulfur associated with demons. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. And rotten eggs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. And my god, I found out that this is... These are two voice actors, just two voice actors. And my god, is she good at making herself sound different. I believe it was, um... Oh, I want to get the name right. Give me a minute. Yeah, it's Nicole Goodnight. And Jonathan Sims is the narrator. By the way, Jonathan and Sims did some stuff in uh, Magnus Archive, which if you haven't listened to that, it's kind of great. But also, my god, Nicole Goodnight is amazing at making such distinct voices that I, I might need to just listen to it more and I might get a feel for it. But I could not tell that that was the same voice actress every single time. Good work. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. I mean... Yes. Not gonna say it. But also the voice of the stubborn. Yeah. 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 As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay Ahem. focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Mmm, but am I, though? But am I, though? As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. I mean, yes, that is definitely what I notice. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Yeah, why hasn't she yet? Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And she remembers us! Oh. Oh. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. Love it. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. So you do remember me! Oh, I remember you all right. 
best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? I mean, yes. See? Yes. She wants to Absolutely. Us again. There's no reason for us to stand around. 100% yes. Absolutely. All right. Fine. I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess, and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. I wonder if perhaps in the future I might want to not tell him that I remember this. Something to think about in the future. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Yeah, but why though? Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Well, you know, in the words of the current generation, skill issue. Get better at jumping into parallel universes. Clearly, that is a skill you can develop. Uh, couldn't even say that with a straight face, but yeah, no, I get that. But also, my god, look at her. Objectively best princess right here. Anyway. Just because it bothers... I mean... Ooh. Ooh. Just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy. I mean... Ooh. How much of a complete bastard am I? <sighs> don't, don't worry, I'm gonna do a good job. God, I mean... I don't quite get the context for this, but sure. You got me, pretty much everything you just said is true. I know. You and the princess have been talking about it. I mean, yeah. to be so snarky. Oh, just that you got me. As in he was figuring out that we um, were being honest in the beginning. Okay, I get that now. You look different. You Better. look exactly the same. Really? I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have to unpack a few things first. Like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Uh, fine. I'm done. I mean, one track mind. Yeah. Saw that coming a mile yet. away. We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. I really need to stop using the mouse for this. Couldn't have said it better myself. Turn around and leave. I mean, what sort of monster would deny her the fight that she wants? Absolutely, we're attacking the princess. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the whetstone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count, all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes Damn. across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. And again, feathers, not fur. But she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. Oh yeah, she's definitely going to kill us. You can hear her chain snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. She almost looks disappointed in us. Why is she disappointed in us? I mean, you became a giant demon lady. Like, we didn't change, you know? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. I mean, yeah. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. 
Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow, think it through, and don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. I mean, let's run it. If that's your plan, then that's your plan. You push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. There's something messed up in that I find this immensely attractive. Like this face. The strength, the violence, the shoulders, my god. But yes. <clears throat> Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. That might be tough. No, we can do this. Just keep pushing. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. I mean, I'm with him. The princess's we'll roll it. widens as the two of you push against each other, her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. And we made her happy. Isn't that totally worth it? Yes. You finally get it, don't you? Hmm. I mean, I do, but also I don't. But also, what are you talking about? Oh, just silently continue pushing. Yeah. Yes, you're right. We don't even need to talk about it. I think we should talk about it, actually, but... Your balance is suddenly thrown off I... as the princess pulls you into her knee. It Ow. with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's why the screen's black. But you barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. Yeah. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. You might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. Which is kind... Which is, hmm. We're gonna have to have a few more iterations before we go into this. But, ignoring pain. That's the second time she's done that. You forgot this. She tosses it at your feet. Oh, this is fun. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm done fighting you. I don't think this is healthy for either of us. I don't think it's healthy for either of us. This is probably, you know, bad. But also, I kind of want to explore it. Don't you want to be free, though? Isn't there more to life than waking up chained in a basement and fighting to the death in an endless loop? She kind of seems to be into it. Not gonna lie, but let's find out. You're walking a thin line, hero. Is there more to life? When you're not here, I feel empty and alone. When we're not fighting, I feel stuck. Like there's something important I'm supposed to be doing. Like I'm being shoved into a space where I don't fit. Oh, damn. But when we fight each other, when we fight each other, it's like this wave of feeling. Like everything I break in you and everything you break in me is important. Like we're really, truly communicating. Life is suffering, and we will feel every inch of it, and we will persevere. I mean, this is getting kind of uncomfortable, but okay. I can't say I'm a fan of whatever weird bond those two have. I mean, it's kind of cute. Nor am I. It's dangerous. But maybe you can use it to your advantage. Oh, fuck off. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, I get it. So you're like some kind of sort of psychosexual sadomasochist. That makes sense. I mean, god damn it. Some of the options here are amazing. But yes, yes, let's tell the princess that. I'm sorry, but that's just such a good option compared to the other ones. There will all be... <laughs> I hate this too. There will always be another chance for us to kill each other. Technically, there's a typo there. Another chance too for us to kill each other, but minor detail. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what that is, but I hear <laughs> yeah, the sound figured. coming out of your mouth. I don't like being crammed into smart sounding boxes. Hmm. Were you being metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside to us? There's more to the world than just this cabin. I saw trees and everything on my way here. Yeah, I saw something. But also, hmm. I meant that nothing else matters. It's hard to describe. It's just a feeling that it's just us. That when we hurt each other, we're alive. And when that happens, everything else is gone. Huh. You feel it too, right? I mean, it definitely is. Hmm. On the other hand, there's something to be said for breaking this sort of loop of violence here. I don't know. Actually, I think I'm done fighting you, or... Yes, the two of us are a chorus of notes building on top of each other forever. The song we write in our blood will be the most beautiful music ever written. I mean, there's something to be said for that line, too. Come on. I'm not a big fan of this, you know, is that what you meant when you said I understood? Because if that's the case, I absolutely don't get it. I'm not even sure there is an it to get. Clearly there is an it to get. But there's also like that, this is clearly unhealthy for her. Like her bonding with people is just murdering them. I only feel alive when we're killing each other is kind of not the greatest basis for any sort of relationship, but also, I can't resist this line, sorry, I'm committed. Yes, the two of us are a chorus of notes building on top of each other forever. The song we write in our blood will be the most beautiful music ever written. Great, it seems like both you and the princess have bought into some sort of shared delusion. Just make Way sure to bring that down the mood. For that song written in blood is mostly hers. <laughs> She crying. It's just so beautiful. Are you two not? That was some goddamn poetry. I know, right? I'm ready whenever you are. Let's go. <laughs> Pick up the blade, fight her again. Each other once again. Each of you dealing a single, terrible, lethal blow. Wait. Does that mean we're... Definitely dead. Dead. Or rather, about to be dead. As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. You feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and... It's over. It's finally over. I mean, how could I not go with that option, right? No, it's not. We're just oh? getting started. But it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. Well, are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Get up. Hell yes! Wait, no, that can't be right. I love it. Your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. Alive. I love it less. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? The blade went right through her heart. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. No, she's dead. She has to be. No! 
and I love it again. Great. We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? Now just you. I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Again! But she came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? What the thrill of it, hero? I mean, come on! All of you need to set Read down. the room! This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart, that's all. Meh. Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course, that's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. Well, I guess I had it wrong. Yeah, but you had it wrong in the best way. You guess you had it wrong? Aren't you supposed to know everything? I never said I knew everything. Oh, interesting. Close to untethering? What's that supposed to mean exactly? Nothing. It, it means nothing. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so adding to our notes, look out for the word untethering. But you did say it, so it means something. Oh, stop bickering over nothing. Our destiny is right in front of us. Pick up the blade and go to her. Okay, fine. That is what I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread, and if you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. Mmm, I don't think that's what you meant, but okay. And what is that supposed to mean? I don't have to answer that, and I'm not going to answer that. Can we look at that line again? So I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread. If you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. Okay, another term, the thread. There was talk of the world unraveling. Hmm. Curiosities. Why the bloody hell not? Because right now, there's still a razor-thin chance that you're able to get your act together. There are patterns of thought out there that beg to be finished, but once you finish them, that's it. They change everything. There's no going back, and if I say anything else, you're going to finish one of those thoughts. Oh. What? Interesting. You mean like the princess can't die, don't you? Well, too late for that. I think we've all thought of that one. Interesting. <sighs> yes, exactly. Like the princess can't die. I tried, you know. I tried very hard to make this work. I mean, all my options were the princess can't die, so... I, uh, I don't like that resignation. Are you sure we can't just unthink it? We made a commitment to this princess to fight her, okay? And that is what we're going to do, hero. And we're going to keep doing that until the end of time, apparently. Due to my choices, which... I mean, this world will continue, so good? Question mark? Yes. Like I said, I'm afraid some thoughts can't be unthought. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to pour myself a stiff drink. If I'm going to see the end of everything, <laughs> I'd rather not be sober. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. So I was right. Why are all of you so glum? This is perfect, isn't it? We get to experience greatness and battle and triumph forever. <laughs> I love him. I love that for you. I really do. But I think it was the stubborn one who said, your destiny awaits, right? Mm, it was indeed. No, 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 no. No, hold on. There has to be another way. What if we just leave her down here? What if we run away? What if we convince her not to end the world? Hero... Sometimes, you just have to commit yourself to a course of action. I can't reason with her. 
ending the world is her fundamental nature. It's not a decision she can flip on and off. It is her. And why exactly can't we leave her down here? Because we're fighting her. Because all it would do is stall the inevitable. And what's wrong with stalling? Oh, there's plenty wrong with stalling. The end is still the end, and I'd rather face mine head on. Oh, you mopey ass. Why did you even ask us to slay her if it was going to end like this? Because it didn't have to end like this. Hmm. If you don't mind, I'd rather not spend everyone's last moments arguing with you. It's time. It is. I suppose it is. If, if we fight her forever, then maybe she can't end the world. Maybe everything can still work out. I mean, I think everything's worked out pretty well, honestly. I think this is a pretty good timeline we've made. I guess we'll just have to see how things play out. Yeah, yeah. So mopey and whiny. You're gonna live forever, because we're gonna fight forever. Don't you get it? You don't have to shuffle your feet. What comes next is going to last forever. Join your adversary. With an unbreakable determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs into her neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. I love that for you. Yes. And then you get up. How far does this loop go? That was a good one. More. You and the princess exchange dozens of devastating blows. Sometimes you manage to kill first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. But more often than not, each of you fells the other in the same moment. I would say this is the grossest of them, but also she seems to be having just so much fun in these images, except for this one, which is horrifying. Like, ugh. But also, yeah, two horrifying images. The rest of the time, she seems to be having fun. Damn! Look what she did to our arm there. Huh. And then you get up and do it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. I like the fading at the end of there, too. We're still here. This is all going to be okay. Isn't it? Uh, not for us, per se. But, uh, well, you won't remember this. It's fine. Isn't it? But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Do you think this is... Oh, you're still here. What is this place? Uh-oh. Did we do this? This might be the consequence of one of my earlier actions. Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck-up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. The end of this loop, perhaps. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here, too. But what would have happened if we stopped the fight? The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so... tired. Oh... There's a direction this could go. <sighs> yeah, I was afraid of that. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's returns. Been... Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Well, we've determined that I'm definitely going to try to free the princess from that entity. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Ah. Worrisome. Of course you're scared this is the end for you. It's gonna be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. 
Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. Kind of with you on that. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Maybe there'll be a good fight there. Maybe we'll find her again. Approach the mirror. Gaze into our reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've grown. Have I? I need another angle on this. Oh. So, one of the defects of my current setup is that the top, I would say, 10% of the screen is sort of darker than it should be. It's a long story about why, but, um... Curious. Yeah, those are wings. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Curious. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? Or what does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. I don't like the way you look. Which is not an act... Well, that kind of feels rude, but also... <sighs> there's something wrong to this. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. The way it's manipulating the body of the princess feels off. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Is it, though? Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. Fascinating. Provide predictions, please. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Hmm... Was there ever another path? I wonder. Can, can I not? Interesting. I don't think I've ever tried to make the same choices before. Huh. Curiosities. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are... difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, 
then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Now there's an interesting question. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now I feel a will pushing against mine, not realizing that we are one. But were she you one from the beginning? Heart. I don't know. Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. Yeah, I... Um... The problem is I value individuality too, and this feels like we're taking that from her. Which is wrong. Although, was the entity always part of the princesses or not? I'm not... I'm not 100% on that. It did seem like we sacrificed those other princesses to give this thing a core, as it were. A central vessel. Although, if from the beginning... I just walked through the path like normal. Would we have ended up in the same place? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. I kind of want to attack the entity. Kind of want to. I'm just... I am uncertain. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes. I kind of want to test doing the same thing that I've done before then, given that information. What do you... Do you have desires? Actually? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Fair. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. You don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow. My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. That lack of self is... Hmm. That's what I don't like about this entity. That's an interesting question. What do you feel about me, these vessels I've been bringing you? Somewhat accidentally. Quote unquote. Mm, mm, ah, hmm. I've hurt them. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Hmm. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. This is something I might want to save. Can I make... Uh, there isn't like a list saves. I just... <sighs> and we run back to the problem of... On the one hand... Are these princesses just extensions of the entity? Or have I made them extensions of the entity? Was this a mistake? We attack it. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Fair. But what if I take that will elsewhere? Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. I was afraid of that, but I had to try. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? I don't know that yet. But this is a curious thing. I haven't had this experience yet, so I think I'm going to ask about it. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me, apparently. Uh, why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Curious. I might be killing you at the end of this. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Indeed. But what killed me if not... Hmm. Huh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the, and end, at the end of, of that path, path is, a, is cabin. a cabin. And, and in the, the basement, basement of that, that cabin, cabin is, is a, princess. a princess. Fascinating. I... I believe I've walked down a path that I might not like the end of, but at this point we must see it through. I did love the general shape of that path, though, the adversary. And I wonder, I wonder, if I hadn't chosen, well, what I chose, would that have ended the same? If I hadn't created the initial vessel for the stranger, would that have ended the same? I kind of want to explore that, but that may have to be for a future uh, experience, as it were. Because there's an end to that that has a twinge of... I don't know. It doesn't feel like it was diminished, but it does feel like it was changed in ways that I am not entirely comfortable with. But choices have been made and choices have consequences, even when, um, well, even when we don't like them, we must live with them. For now. And for now, we're going to save there. Well, I guess we could have just saved over this, honestly, because none of our choices affected anything. But, eh, eh. Again, double-clicking. This time, double-right-clicking. Anyhow, thank you all for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye.